In this numeric response question, I have a log that is in expanded form, well, almost expanded form, and I want to simplify it as m plus n times log base b of c. So let's see what we can do here. I notice in my answer for my template, I all have log base b, which I do here, but in the answer, I only have an argument of c. So it looks like the first thing that I should do is probably separate anything with the argument of b and an argument of c. So let's get started. I have log base b of b squared minus, let's bring this up in front. So this is log base b of c exponent 5 plus, and I'm going to do the same thing over here, bring the 4 up. So I have 4, let's try that again. I have log base b of bc cubed to the exponent of 4. Okay, so let's work a little bit more with that last log. So I want to separate them out so that the C's and the B's are separate because this answer only has an argument of C. So I have log base B of, distribute the 4 inside the brackets, B exponent 4, C exponent 3 times 4 is 12. So in my next step, since I've multiplied those arguments together, I can separate them into two individual logs by adding. So that'll be log base b of b exponent 4 plus log base b of c exponent 12. So I want to rearrange it so that all my arguments of b are together and all my arguments with c are together. So I'll rewrite this as log base b of b squared plus log base b of b exponent 4 plus log base b of c exponent 12 minus log base b of c exponent 5. So I wrote them all together like that, grouping my b's together and my c's together. I chose to write this one here first because it has a highest exponent, and when I'm subtracting, I know I'm going to use quotient law. So over here, I'm adding the logs together, so I can keep the base the same and multiply the arguments together. So b squared times b exponent 4 is b to the 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus here, I'm subtracting my logs, so I can write it as one log, keeping the base the same. Since I'm subtracting, I would do that through dividing. So c exponent 12 divided by c exponent 5, that's quotient law, 12 take away 5 is 7. So now looking at this, I see I have an argument and a, and a base that match. I know that's the matching law, so I'm going to bring the 6 down, multiplied by log base b of b. Plus, looking at my template, I have a number in front. I'm also going to bring this one down. 7 times log base b of c. So again, this is matching law. Log base b of b has a value of 1. So this is 6 plus 7 log base b of c. So I always like to write my answer right underneath my template to make sure everything lines up. So I can see that m is in fact 6 and n is 7. So the numeric response answer to this question would be 67.